teams lose focus because of certain calls, even if it doesn't involve them. That's right. That and this happen. is what happened. And the drama continues here in UAP Women's Volleyball. Well, you know, this is again according to script. Yeah, Ian, that's First true. set to UST, two sets to FEU. Yes. And I'm saying that for those who don't know, in the first meeting, in the first round back in December 7, that's exactly what happened. UST behind, two sets to one. They win in five. Now, FEU is just a set away mm -hmm. from uh, exacting revenge. That's true. And... Um Sabi nga ng maraming coaches, walang napapanalong set ng 23 or 24. And that is what happened to UST. Well, they were really leading uh, by four or five points five going points. to that final Correct. stretch. And they just, you know, after that controversial, it wasn't really such a controversy because uh, clearly in the replay, the call was was the right call to make by the linesman. And the point was given to them. But the complaining of Coach yes. Ness, it, the, you know, it, the energy. The, the histrionics and the, oh. the no, no, the, the, like, it sucked the life out of USC. That's right. And it fired up <laughs> yes. the FEU lady. So uh, that, that, that that is, you know, sometimes part of coaching, you know, get get something going your way. Para mapagana mo yung mga players mo. And that is what Coach Ness did in that instance. And he got a warning for it. Yeah, he did. But it, it's, 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 in basketball, it's like a technical foul. That's right. That fired up his own team. That's right. Parang ganun. Oh, ganun ang nangyayari. And when, when, uh, coach, after that call, uh, for Coach Ness, kita mo, in a matter of 30 seconds, uh -huh. they yeah. ended the yep. same. Yep. You know, sometimes if you're a player, you see your coach fighting for you yeah. like that. Yeah. Di ba? Parang ayaw mo rin mapahiya. That's right, that's he right. put so much effort. He has been, he might as well have been playing since the start of this game, Ian. <laughs> he's he's been, up. been up and bouncing and shouting all throughout. That's right. And he's still talking to the te technical table right now. <laughs> he's not going to stop. 15 to 12, if you were the lead in the attack points. Three blocks, now they take the advantage. Uh -huh. 8 to 1 yan kanina nung first set. Service Aces 3 and 2, Unforced Errors 9 and 4, FEU. Stealing eh, that one. Eh, kung eh, pinag-uusapan natin kanina pa yung topic ng angas, yun ang pinakamangas oh. sa kanila dyan. <laughs> si Coach Ness. <laughs> of course, we use that word in a very positive way uh -huh. when it comes to sports. And now, set number four, all of a sudden, UST is in the back foot here. Remember, they were ahead also 4-0 at the start of, this, of the, the previous set. And 23-18. Wow, nice blocking from Rojas. Uh, the switch by Rea, pero net block. Medyo mababa yung set ni Rea, or the approach of uh, Hiratsuhi was... Uh, if you take the first point, team captain Giselle was late. Serving. Hope you guys are still tuned in. Boom Gonzalez, Doc Ian Laurel, Erika Liboro, Patch Kansana. It's uh, Direct Alneri at the helm of this live and exclusive and exciting coverage of the 74th season women's volleyball tournament. Second round meeting between USC and FU. Historically collegiate rivals, the two winningest mm -hmm. teams in women's volleyball. FU, of course, with a number that is tough to catch at 29. Uh, uh, UST at 14 and a great combination play. This guy's well by Hirotsuji. That's right. Abadejo. That's, uh, they, they've had a lot of success with that combination. Two serving one. Service. And Dimokulangan coming back from her injury the last time out against Ateneo. And Puntayan si Rojas and si Vaga. So Puntos na naman. If you're FEU, you have to close it out here. That's right, that's right. Because, you know, fifth setters against UST with, you know, some veterans there. Yes. And the crowd behind that's right. them. That's tough. And um, you got to learn from experience. You fight last time. Oh, so, five sets clear. Uh, so, you want to end it now. And the Coach Ness, I believe, I'm sure, 100%, he knows that. And that has been the problem of FU in five setters against LaSalle. They, you know, they couldn't close out LaSalle. And that's all because they are still a young, developing, learning team. 
Let's check it with Erica Libor. Boom, Coach Ness constantly reminded the girls to run after that ball. Hindi lalapit ang bola sa inyo. Kailangan si Paga nyo pa ang paghabol. Now, the Lady Tamaros had quite a struggle at the beginning of the set earlier since the girls weren't communicating inside and instructed them na kapag alanganin ng receive, establish that position to grab that chance ball. Although Coach Ness was a bit stressed earlier regarding that check ball, he was quite calm with the girls. Kahit pa paano nakabawi naman since they won the previous set. Boom and Ian. Nakabawi, pati doon sa block. On uh, Maruja Matiko. Yes, that's right. Maru has been stuffed in most of her attempts. She's been uh, really, you know, scouted. Basa, oh, nabasa. Oh. Basang basa siya nitong uh, defensa, lalo ng blockers. The middle blockers, Rojas. Especially if, he, if she always angles her body towards the cross court. No? Dito, iba na naman. Yeah. Iba naman. Kaya medyo mahirap pag tayo. That's right, that's right. Pero dito sa side na to, nakikita mo sa katawan minsan. It's all part of you know, the intricacies of volleyball of studying opponents and when they're in the This is tough when she's at the, that level. Yeah, that's right. Because we're not used to seeing her that way. That's the one thing I was saying about Phil Kaiglep uh, for Ateneo. She's developed attacking in different mm, mm. you know so medyo na hirap pa rin yung defensa hindi ka tulad dati nung rookie year niya or second year niya na puro open open cross court iisa lang ngayon umatake from the middle she goes back row, back row also from the other end yeah. Yeah. that uh, again comes with maturity and experience and Maru oh I think the play was called for five on all right, obviously there was some miscommunication oh, between, between uh, the setter. Rhea and Ortiz. Ito to. Sinasabihan niya, klaruhin mo yung... Ito ah, siguraduhin mo to. Good reaction there by Baniel. Chance again for Ingrid Reyes through the block. Deceivingly strong. CSA product. Amazing how she does that. Walang tumatayo dito sa arena in San Juan. Yung mga coach lang <laughs> sa galit. <laughs> A service error there. Patch Gonzalo will report from the USC side now. With full of conviction, Coach Oji told his coaching staff, I am so disappointed. But during the huddle, he reminded everyone that uh, the game doesn't stop once you hit the ball. Because in volleyball, the most important thing is always the next action. Um, next is don't be scared to commit errors. Kaya kayo hindi umaatake kasi natatakot kayo magkamali. You know, Boom, it's so nice to listen to Coach Oji's advice because it inspires the girls. Yun yung sinasabi niya sa akin, a difference between coaching boys from girls kasi sa babae, you need to touch their sensitive part at kailangan mas careful ka sa kanila. Boom, and yan? Great insight, Patch. Thank you very much. Well, the, again, dynamics of coaching. Not only different players, but different genders, I guess, also. As Reyes again delivers. That's right. That's going to hit an, uh, an outside set because Eulalio was a bit fooled by uh, the running spike of Ortiz. So, humabul na lang. And Reyes, quick to identify that, hit it cross court. And guess what? We're tied again at 7 on. Mm -hmm. It's been a familiar theme. Uy! Oh, tinginan! Rhea Di Makalangan, good at those dumb plays. Back in a moment, 8-7 for UST. All right, glad to have you back with us. Of course, Wendy Ansemana and Abanto, former FEU Lady Tamaraus, showing their support to the current team that Coach Nez is handling. Of course, they uh, part. They were part of uh, several championships for the FU Lady Tamaras during their time. Both of them, setters Abanto also uh, sometimes set the ball for FU. This is outside from Rojas. She tried that quick play and she missed the line hitting it too wide usd up by two nine to seven ortiz serving 
Not a good dig there from Vargas. Cross court, dug up by Banaticla. Again, Reyes. Hiratsuhi. <laughs> this time it's Rojas winning the joust against Hirotsuhi. 